What's happening, partner? This high end radio. We're hip hop bands. What's the issue with you and Gonzo? I just kind of want to get to the bottom of it because it's, it's different cities throwing stuff in it. The Bay has right. some stuff to say. Uh, right. LA has some stuff to say. They even said you took a shot at San Diego. I ain't taking no shot at San Diego. First of all, let me do a big uh, uh, apology to all my San Diego residents, fans, rappers, niggas I know. That was no diss. You know what I mean? Basically, I was saying that that LA rapper lives in San Diego. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I said on that. But Personally, man, I met that L.A. rapper back in the day. I basically put that dude on, you know what I mean? Yeah. After his situation with whoever, you know, Ice Cube, you know, I put, I put him on with the regime, basically. So um, it came to a point to where I came across one of his baby mamas that wasn't his baby mama at the time. He was, you know, not with her for a couple years, whatever. I came across him, knocked her down. Didn't even know it was his baby mama. So uh, he get at me, you know, talk, oh, man, you, you knocked down my baby mama. Yeah, I said, check this out, dude. I didn't even know it was your baby mama, first of all, and, and, and fuck it, I apologize. So he act like he cool with me. If you was had a problem with me back then about this shit, you should have stopped fucking with me in 1999. This shit happened in 1999. So you holding this shit in, you acting like you cool, you getting on albums, you're trying to do mixtapes and shit, this, that, and third. And then every time he get drunk, you know, it come out, oh, nigga, fuck you, oh, nigga, why I ain't in the, in the beers? Why I ain't in the motherfucking Lamborghini? Why I rap better than anybody? All oh, this stupid shit, like, where's this coming from? You know what I mean? Then he'll wake up in the morning, like, oh, my bad, I blacked out. You know, I got chemical imbalance. I can't drink. It's like, come on, my dude. So I'm, I'm, I'm knowing this dude, like, how he's off and on when he's drunk and when he's doped up or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I, I get it. So I give him passes, a couple passes. Like, he, he need medicine. He need his Ritalin. He's bipolar. He need his shit. So I'm like, okay, he's, he's a nigga that need medical attention. So I let it pass. Let a couple shit slide. Can y'all be bros again? I'm done with that, bro. I ain't got no issues with that dude. Still, with him talking all this madness, I ain't got no issues with him. But far as I cut dudes off when, when they cross me. Period. That, that, let's get let's let's let that be known, man. When you cut a motherfucker off, man, and you are in the life. When you used to being in the life, the spotlight, the red carpet, the the, the arena shows, the, the the tours overseas, the tours around the United States, being in that life and then getting cut off and separated, and now you live a regular life. Niggas is working and all types of shit. That can make a nigga mad. That can make a nigga real mad. Yeah. You know what I mean? On top of that, I, niggas knocked down your baby mama. So all that inside, you know what I mean? Held that all inside, like, oh, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of heat coming from that couch. I feel like the belly movie. You know, we done hit the lick, we ready to break down the money, and this little nigga with the 40, like, man, fuck you, I ain't feeling it. DMX had to, you know, <laughs> check the nigga, you know what I mean? Make yeah. the nigga straight, you know what I mean? And just bust that gun, sit your ass down. And that's just all I had to do, man, because I bring too much money to the table for everybody. I ain't never got a check from that L.A. dude. Never, never. Speaking of the speaking who, of the money, I'm the dude who took care of everybody. I'm the dude who had the studios, pay for the albums, the artwork, the mixing, the mastering, the engineer, the beats. That's me. That came out of my pocket with no budget, no budget. I'm doing this because I'm the homie. Who do that? You've been in the record industry. Who do this type of shit without having niggas signed out to a contract? They don't do nobody. that. Nobody. Nobody. Okay, then. And on top of that, I get everybody a key to the studio. That you ain't paying for the rent. You ain't paying for the motherfucking cable bill. You ain't paying for the light and water bill. You ain't paying for nothing. It's fully furnished. It's up and downstairs studio. All that shit. You ain't paying prime location. North Hollywood. Right there by Universal City Walk. Right on the freeway. Prime location. You ain't paying for that. I'm paying for all this shit. And you niggas get in the studio... And they use their studio as a hotel. They live in there. They fucking business. And they're not recording. You know what I mean? So it's like, come on, my nigga. Well, how much can I take? How much? How many times I'm supposed to keep on doing this shit coming out of my kids' mouth? My kids' food. You know what I mean? To pay for some niggas that don't even appreciate what I'm doing for them. He was a main nigga. That L.A. nigga. Oh, man, he got this. Why we ain't got this? Man, hustle. Get some money, man. My album went gold, platinum. Four for five, only three times platinum. Yeah. Nigga, dug out is platinum. I tour. I get money, my nigga. Every time I go on a motherfucking uh, 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 record label, it's nothing less than 100K. Period. Nothing less than 100K. Every time. So it's like, nigga, I'm hitting these 100K licks and shit. I'm spending this shit on y'all. 
You know what I mean? So it's like, come on, my nigga. You can't say nothing to me, man. You my son, my nigga. You was homeless, living in the studio. I'm giving this nigga money for weed and money for uh, 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 food, clothes and shit. Like, come on, my nigga. You living in my studio, bro. So at the end of the day, man, it's all this shit because, damn, we talking about it. All this shit because of the Tupac movie. Yeah. All this shit because of the Tupac movie. Tupac movie came out. The L.A. dude started dissing whack. He started dissing uh, the outlaws. And these dudes who I fuck with. So I told the L.A. dudes, leave us out of it. You know what I mean? We don't get down like that. You know, we, you know, you, you trying to get back in this regime shit, but you starting off wrong. We ain't beefing with niggas no more. Period. Oh, that's cool, man. I keep you out of it. Cool. Fast forward time. The motherfucking, uh, the, 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 uh, who killed Tupac? We do the live stream at my crib. Edie get online. He get mad at that, say some shit. The, uh, the, the, the preview of the video come out. Oh, he get mad and say, oh, y'all can't go ride for Pac or some shit like So he is steadily getting at me and jabbing me. And I'm trying to bring this shit back together, so I can't do nothing with that dude. Let that nigga do what he want to do, man. If that nigga want to be a live chatty patty, man, that's him, man. I'm getting to this rap money, nigga. It's your boy, Yuck Mouth, rocking out on high end radio, my nigga. Keep it locked in and keep it mobbing. Yada, yada, yada. What's happening, partner? This high-end radio. We're hip-hop bands.